Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a tutorial to share with you today. We are working through our mineralogy main lesson block. We're using the live education Waldorf main lesson book and a few other resources and we're going to be working on our first illustration for lesson number one. Now we have done this main lesson block in the past before with my other children, but we are starting from scratch with my last homeschooler and we are working through the mineralogy block a little bit more closely with the main lesson book and using less resources however if you check the blog post that accompanies this video and that link is down in the description box below you will find a list of all of the resources we've used in the past as well as all of the projects that we've done and many of them do have video tutorials so i encourage you to check those out if you want other hands-on projects that you would like to do with your students for this main lesson block. Now there is a little bit of a difference between a mineralogy main lesson block versus a geology main lesson block or a geology unit study. So the things that I want to go over with you really quickly as I'm doing the illustration for this for this lesson is that the mineralogy main lesson block is going to begin with basically looking at two types of rocks and primarily we're going to be looking at granite or igneous rocks and granite is this archetypal uh, rock for the mineral kingdom as well as limestone and one represents fire and one represents water so granite and igneous rocks they're formed from magma or lava they are fire and limestone is formed the through a process that includes water. So we're going to start our first lesson with an illustration of a volcano. And actually, the volcano and the study of volcanoes and the ring of fire and magma is actually lesson number two. So the written portion that we have for this lesson includes a little bit on igneous rocks and a little bit on granite and then a little bit on the different layers of the earth. So this is the way that I'm approaching this first lesson. But really having an understanding of the formation of rocks and the composition of the minerals is really important when talking about igneous rocks because from igneous rocks, we can then get sedimentary rocks. And then from sedimentary rocks, we can get metamorphic rocks. And also from igneous rocks, we can get metamorphic rocks. And so there's a whole rock cycle, which is very interesting to learn about and to see how rocks are being recycled. But, but knowing and understanding that minerals make up rocks and minerals make up igneous rocks and how igneous rocks are formed, whether they are formed inside the earth or outside the earth, whether they form quickly or slowly, and depending on their mineral compositions, you're going to have a wide assortment of rocks. So that is what this first lesson is about. I have drawn this illustration based on an image from a resource that we're using, which I have had in the past. It's called Flip Charts, and you can find them at newpathlearning.com. And they are really beautifully made flip charts that are fully laminated they're fully in color they have great content i'm using it this time primarily as a resource that we're reading through as well as other books but i'm using it in, as a resource different than i've used it in the past in the past i used it more as classroom decoration something that the children could be inspired by they might look through it and be curious about it and maybe want to read more about whatever section was illustrated because they are so breathtakingly illustrated and they come with just enough information not to be overloaded so i do really like it but i did not utilize it that well until this unit this time and this is our fourth and last time going through these units or at least it's my last time i think uh, because i'm working through this with my last child 
And so I um, have had it in the past, but haven't utilized it that well. So I am copying this image from the flip chart on a page that has the three different kinds of rocks. So I'm copying just the information for igneous rocks and the content that was written there. I'm also including that in our narration. My daughter's doing copy work that is copying exactly what is written in the flip charts so hers is just being copied uh, for mine i just wrote out more lengthy information about aeneas rocks pulling from other resources as well as the flip chart so i think i do have a couple of sentences that are just copied from the flip chart now i did write an entire narration i haven't done this in the past with my other students when we're doing main lesson books but i am writing that so that she can also refer to my written work if she's going to copy that or refer to my written work if there's things that aren't included in hers she will be copying this illustration as well i have added more to this illustration than what's offered in the flip chart so i have detailed the four rocks which are mentioned but more details are provided in this illustration and some of these details are from other resources so those new resources that i'm using i have four new resources for this unit those ones are listed at the very beginning of the description down below so that you can see the new resources that we're using if you've been following along for a while and you already have some of the resources that we've used in our previous geology unit study which i did approach differently in the past i approached it more like a unit study versus a main lesson block and there are some subtle differences between them and some major differences as well but with a, a unit study often you might be pulling more resources than just what's in the main lesson book and you might for me in particular i was addressing multiple age groups and so often i would have resources that worked for young children as well as older elementary and into middle school because i was homeschooling multiple kids i'm now down to just homeschooling one and the uh the progression of the lessons is going to be different in a unit study than in a main lesson block it's very specific starting with the archetypal rocks to begin with and then moving into other lessons as well so i'm using my lyra color pencils to do this illustration and originally i wanted to do the illustrations along with the written work and make the illustrations really small and just sort of embedded in the narration as if you were reading a book or you know several pages of narration and every once in a while after a paragraph there would be a little bit of an illustration but once we started with our our narration i realized that 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 idea wasn't going to work at least for the first two page spread but maybe in the future we could go back to that idea because i like the idea of having smaller illustrations as my children are getting older so my daughter is in grade six waldorf and grade seven for conventional schooling and i wanted the illustrations to be smaller more scientific and more descript versus more artistic and larger as they have been in the past so i'm just doing some final um, parts for this illustration i realized there was a lot of white space at the top so i'm just giving it a sky very lightly in case i want to add more content later on I hope that you enjoyed this look at our first lesson for our mineralogy main lesson block. I hope that you'll check out the blog post that accompanies this video so that you can see all of the resources and the links to the resources that we have used. And if you'd like to see how we're homeschooling on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine. <laughs>